turn to form as energy have consistently gotten better over time. And now we'll see if they can get themselves out of that one and three stains. Liquid go back to uh, a 500 here if they could win and be 3-3 three, three at the end of the... Yeah, also OQ is running... Um... Oh, geez, Santorin's yeah. already here. They had burned exhaust and flash, so we're thinking top lane. Santorin decides to go bot side. He's level three. Matt has no sums. There's the knockup into the root lands. That's Beautiful. gonna be all the damage perfectly played. First blood comes through, and now Fabi is gonna have to flash away and stay alive. But here comes the teleport in for Lolo. Cannot be matched by Quas. Lolo level, level two, two has no one to stun. Slows down OQ, but look at the damage output. Teleports in to die. Oh, no. And now a red buff to chase Fabi. This is catastrophic. This should be the kill. A double pick up, and now Dardock wants one, but can he get enough? He really wants Kiwi Kid. I don't know if he can quite do it, though. Gets oh, rooted up. He gets going to one more axe, one more attack, Kiwi. and now a triple kill for <laughs> Kiwi Kid. Four to one for energy. Kiwi Kid Zyra with the triple kill early on in the game. And Phoenix, it's not done yet. There are no summoners left. There are more kills than minutes already, and Phoenix really wants to kill OQ. Lands the slow from the E, lands the Q. Auto attack, auto attack, Q's back up, and down Kiwi, he goes. Kiwi, look out, Phoenix has flash. Uh-oh, cool, charge the E, flash, land it, oh, and no. there's one more picked up. A shutdown <laughs> and double buffs on Phoenix. Because you can insta-tap the E, and it sets up cast minions perfectly to just auto-attack them under turret, so... Uh, just perma-shoving of Vladimir is actually less oh, good than it was before. Oh, here comes just wants to kill Kiba Kid. There's the Asher, and they shut out the turret as well, so OQ's got nowhere to go. They're gonna just pile-drive him. Phoenix came up as well to make sure it happened, burned the teleport, and comes in. Liquid spending so much effort on this post-ultimate. I'm trying to match. Let's see if Dark Dark uh, Lola can outplay. Well, they're doing a bit of damage there. He's gonna get away from some of it, but now he's one hit away from death. Dodge his round, final smack comes through, and Quas gets himself his first kill of the game. Up. Now he's gonna run, Exhaust is gonna land, as is the Axe, and the Taunt, the, the Dodge rather, not gonna mean too very much. Quas will get dropped, Ooh. can't jump to Santorin quite in time. Whoa. And Evie's now Santorin actually getting hit up, and look at this, Dardock just does not care about anything at all. Gives no cares, gets a double kill, 3-1-3 on this Olaf. Dardock is everywhere. Wow, and just such discipline with the way Dardock is you to see what itemization path he goes next. He did Steric Skate yesterday. He's kind of going towards that again. But there's an Ash Arrow! And it's still going to land on OQ. Bartleby to buy a couple more seconds. Here oh, comes Lorlo. boy. Looking for a bit to do. Actually stuns up Kiwi Kid because he got damaged by Kiwi's ultimate. Looking for a chase and OQ can't do quite the damage. And Ezreal will before one push when their four is so much weaker than the four from Team Liquid. They're going for OQ as well. Oh, misses the stun. Thanks for a couple minutes being in the way. OQ still running around. Pops the ulti. Done a lot of damage to Lorlo, but can't quite get him off. And that's going to be Dardak picking up yet another kill. Four, one, and three for him. This top lane will... Ash Arrow comes Trying across. To get a catch. Maybe Liquid gets something. Ooh, They're all stuck. Aim. And yeah, it's going to stun. But then he's canceled up by the Bardolty. Kind of a waste, actually. But they reset on the Quas. That's going to be Jax dropping down. Yes, it is. Dardak on a rampage. And Phoenix wants more. OQ what stunned stun. up by the Rift Herald. And Matt's Bard Q. Oh. There's OQ almost getting slow. Dardak can't quite land it, though. They're really pushing in the top, so they're trying to split the team up. Roots come across, and a nice wall blocks out Dardock, who's just stuck That's there. That's a big one. Bardo buys some time. Here comes the engage. Asher lands. GVM is going to get slaughtered here in this one. Santorin running. OQ nearly dead. Hemoplake might get him. Unstoppable as Dardock, as they have picked off one. Now a second as the Zyra pops, and this will be Liquid taking a two for zero, going into the mid lane even farther. They His presence really known. Jumps in again on the turret. He tries to ignore some of the damage. He will not get stunned off by Lorla, but look at the health he's losing. Quas will just die for this. Die. Puts on the dodge, then goes, uh, are you gonna live? You're probably not gonna live, or try to live. He flashes, and it's gonna be Lola picking up the kill. Kinda close, actually. You can see the tools that Quas would have had. Sterex taking plenty of poke damage here and backing out. OQ had gone for an early detour into Executioner's Calling, but now is going towards that ruin thing as he should be. Here we go. And and this is decision time right now. They know they're in it. Will Energy try and steal? Will they try and harass? And will Quas teleport? All these questions will be answered right now. Looking for Santorin. He's getting locked up by Bard, which means there's not really any time to get across there. Ash Arrow's early, but it doesn't matter. He still can't get across in time. Takes the magical journey back out, but Santorin's still on the run. Phoenix in the front lines goes for the kill and will pick up Santorin. The jungler still does go down, plus the Baron picked up for Liquid. Quas is splitting, but I don't know how much more he can get. Yeah, and how much more can TL get? Because they're not even responding to Quas. They know they killed Santorin, they know they have energy low, and they know they have Baron, so they're going for inhibitor number two. The so Quas going for the summoner teleport. I think he could just recall though, honestly. He wasn't going to save the inhibitor anyway, so I think a loss in cooldown. Threatening to TP back to the bot They're lane could have gone to the play. But yeah, Liquid threatening to win right now on turret number one. 5v4 Santorin at 15 seconds on a GBM. Popped into the egg, but Dardock has aggro, has to walk away. Lorlo dangerously low. Phoenix goes in the back line, pops the pool. Look for GBM. They can't.
can't get him though. He pops the shield and gets away. Tardock almost dead in the battle against OQ. And he gets shut down by Anivia. GBM takes him out, and yes, that team is alive. And imagine if Quas had teleport right now. He could break oh, the bottom Phoenix. lane. Oh, Phoenix though does take down OQ, picks up the kill, heals back up, and runs away for a live for each squad. Well, look. Team Liquid's just gonna group right back up. Now that they've healed, they don't even need the Baron Empowered Minions because it's an explosion inhibitor, and I think they're gonna do that push again. They might just do this one right now. Darnock looking for Kiwi Kid, almost a little bit alone, but now he's got Lorlo and down they go. The support is dead. Kiwi Kid just being attacked constantly. And that's just gonna make it easier. There's only one Nexus turret up right now, so they can easily poke down and losing this one. Team Liquid's kind of slow playing this one, forcing energy Damn to engage. It. Turret's nearly dead. Stun only lands on a Lorlo, doesn't mean much. Phoenix goes right back into the front line. Stun on a Quas. That could be a kill picked up as Jax runs away. And ulti on a GBM as well as OQ means they're not part of the fight just yet. And the back line's kind of split off a stun on a OQ. And it's out of the Nexus now. Down below half HP. Femi stays on it. So does Lorlo. The kills don't matter. It's the Nexus. It's the game. And 36 minutes, Liquid takes down game one. Hard to argue with their execution that game. They jumped out of the gate really quickly, 